Once you have downloaded an ebook, you can place that ebook onto an e reader using Adobe Digital Editions. In this example, we'll be using a Nook. However, the overall process will remain the same no matter which e reader you are using. First, plug your device into your computer. Once the device has successfully been connected, it will show up in the left hand column of Adobe Digital Editions. To place an ebook on an e reader, click and drag the book over to the device. When the device is highlighted, you can release the mouse button to place the book on the device. The book will begin copying to the device. This may take a while, so be patient. Once your book has been copied over successfully, you can double check your device to make sure it's there. To find it, scroll through the books already on your device. Our book copied successfully over to our Nook. As I'm looking at the books on my Nook, however, I'm noticing that I have to do a little cleanup. I have some books that have expired lending periods, and I need to get rid of them. Adobe Digital Editions is a great way to do device management. Using this software, you're able to clean up the books that already exist on your device and return books that you may have previously checked out and have yet to return. I'm going to continue returning all of my expired ebooks until my library has been cleaned up. It's important to note that these items didn't automatically delete themselves when their checkout period was through. Many devices do not automatically update themselves when the ebooks on them have expired. Frequently, you will have to manage your expired ebooks yourself. From here, I'm going to remove the book I just checked out from my Nook. Keep in mind, however, that I haven't returned it. It's still stored on my computer. However, it's entirely removed from my e-reader. Now, from here, I can choose to return it. I could have returned it from my Nook, too, but this is a good way to keep track of the books you may have finished and ones you haven't. 